Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to do our first look of Lineage OS 20. Now, the first major change with Lineage OS 20 is that it is, of course, based on Android 13. And yes, they still have their own Easter egg, which they used to have when you tap on the Lineage OS version multiple times. And yes, because this is Android 13, you do get the new Android 13 quick settings media player and it works on the lock screen as well without any issues. The volume panel here has been redesigned. You have the slide out volume panel, material you theme in the building and whatever slider you are changing, that will get the prominent color. The other sliders will get the different color and you also have the option of switching between the finger modes and of course you can choose the output device as well and before i forget because this is android 13 if any application is running in the background you will get a notification about the same in your quick settings panel and as you can see music is running in the background right now Next up, let us talk about the launcher. So out of the box, Lineage OS comes with their own launcher, which is Trebuchet. Now you do not get the option of select, but you do get the option of screenshot. And you also have your split top, which means you should be able to use your split screen applications without any issues. As for the power menu, this is how the power menu is going to look like. You can of course customize in your system settings and you also have advanced restart option available. As for the quick settings panel, bam, here it is. This is the quick settings panel. You do have separate tiles for mobile data and your Wi-Fi. And if I go into the edit option, I do have my ambient display, heads up, reading mode, caffeine, and a bunch of other tiles along with your VPN and USB. Ring. An important thing you will note over here is that the change they have made is the fact that your power menu and your quick settings panel follows the device theme. Now in stock pixel ROM, even if you have light mode enabled, your quick settings panel and your power menu will be in dark theme. But herein, you can see that we have light theme enabled and our power menu and quick settings panel is in the light theme. Another important change you will notice with Lineage OS 20 is if you go into wallpapers and style, you can now choose your accent colors. In Lineage OS 19, they had material you, but you could not choose your accent colors. With Lineage OS 20, you can choose the accent colors and you can also use the basic colors in case you want to other than that they also have dark theme and themed icons along with the option of changing your application grids now we can enable dark theme and see how that looks like so this is how your dark theme is going to look like do note this is not material black or pitch black you do have a grayish shade over here with respect to your dark theme other than that you have some widget options which of course are based on whatever applications you have installed on your device if you go into home settings you have your hidden applications you have your notification dots and some other options as well another new addition with vineage os 20 is their new camera application which they are calling aperture now previously the camera application in Lineage OS 19 and 19.1 was based on Camera 2 API. This one has been rewritten from the scratch and it is based on Camera X API. If you go into the photos mode and then you can go into settings, you can of course configure your brightness of the screen to be at full brightness. You can enable your EIS, OIS if it is present on your device. For your video recording, you can configure the different resolutions. So 480, 720p, 1080p, 4K, whatever your device supports, all those things you can change. And yes, they have added support for auxiliary lenses as well in the new 
Aperture Camera Application on Lineage OS 20. Next up with respect to the applications which come baked in. So these are all the applications which come baked in. The ones which I have installed on this Lineage OS 20 build are Chrome, the Google app and Play Store. Now do note out of the box Lineage OS does not come with Google apps baked in. You have to flash the Google apps package explicitly in case you want to use Google services with Lineage OS 20. Next up, we can jump over to settings and this is how the settings page is going to look like. If you go into network and internet and hotspot and the thing, Lineage OS lets you use your VPN on the device for any clients which might be sharing a hotspot with your Android device. If I go into applications, here are all the default apps which are present. Other than that, you have your data control for the applications as well. So if I go into the phone application and here and I go into mobile data and Wi-Fi, so you can enable or disable your network access, Wi-Fi data, mobile data, background data, VPN data, or if you want it to have unrestricted data usage, you can use that option as well. If I go into notifications, you have your per app notification control along with notification history, priority conversations, bubbles, notification light customization is present for devices which have a physical notification LED. You also have your heads up toggle as well in case you want to use heads up notifications. Next up, we can talk about the battery settings. So on supported devices, you have thermal profiles available as you can see material U is working over here as well. Then you have your battery usage. This is going to show you a graph of the battery usage along with battery saver. Now do note that the pixel exclusive extreme battery saver is not present over here along with your battery manager, which is present. This is your adaptive battery in the building. And of course, battery light customization. If you have a device with the physical notification LED. Next up, we have sound and vibration. So of course, you have your sliders for the different volumes. Then you have a toggle to link or unlink your ring and notification volume. You can also have your increasing ring volume along with the start volume and the ramp up time. Do not disturb is present on the device. And if you go into vibration and haptics, you can configure your vibration for ringing, vibrate first, then ring gradually, your vibration for notification, alarm, media vibration, and touch feedback. So all of those can be configured independently. Then you have your shortcut to prevent ringing in case you want to use that key combination along with toggles for all the different options which you see on the screen and yes lineage os 20 does have your charging sounds and you can configure the wired charging sound along with the wireless charging sound if your device supports wireless charging and for supported devices you will have dirac sound enhancer baked in as well Next up, we have display. So in display, of course, you can configure your brightness level. You have a toggle for adaptive brightness. Go into lock screen. You can add a custom text on the lock screen. If you want to see media cover art on the lock screen background, you have a toggle for that as well. Then you have controlling your smart devices, your wallet from the lock screen. If you want to enable or disable the double line clock in Android 13, you have a toggle for that as well. And you have ambient display so you have your pickup hand wave pocket mode and of course for supported devices you will have always on display customization then you have your screen timeout which you can configure dark theme is present for the font you can choose between three different fonts and you can configure your icon shape as well right now we are running the teardrop icon shape onto our device and here it is this is how the teardrop icon shape is going to look like then you have your display size and text so you can change the font size the display size in case you want to have bold text you have a toggle for that high contrast text and in case you mess up you have the option of resetting the settings as well then you have your night light scheduling your night light similarly you can schedule your dark theme as well and of course with lineage os 20 you get live display as well so you can choose between 
three different color profiles you have a toggle for reading mode as well then with the color calibration you can configure your rgbs do not like it select reset similarly you can configure your hue saturation intensity and contrast again reset button is available in case you do not like your setup rotation settings yes you have master toggle and then you can configure what all angles or rotation modes you want to enable or disable for devices with notches you have customization for your full screen applications screensaver is present here it is this is the new ui which comes with android 13 you have your double tap to sleep on the status bar double tap to wake the device then you have wake on plug all those features working without any issues along with your preventing the accidental wake up next up you have security and privacy so with respect to security you only have your fingerprint unlock and your pin and passcode lineage os does not come with face unlock with respect to privacy they do not pass safety net out of the box the reason for that the link in the description feel free to read that then you have your privacy dashboard so here you can see what all applications have had access to your location camera microphone that is the purpose of privacy dashboard then you have permission manager so here it is you have your calendar what all applications have access to the calendar you can customize all of that over here if you want to enable or disable then you have your master toggles for camera access and microphone access you also have quick setting tiles for the same so here it is mic access and camera access now with lineage os you also get something called trust so here and it will tell you how trustable or how secure your device is as you can see in my case se linux is set as enforcing which is the top level of security for se linux then you have your android security patches are of course up to date but the vendor here is out of date now do note lineage os does not control the vendor security patch that needs to come from the oem because that is the vendor they generally use encryption as you can see is enabled then you can also restrict usb in case you want to sms message limit can be set and you also have toggles for se linux status and build signature in case you want to use those toggles next up we can go into the system settings now here in with android 13 google did add per app language support and that is present in lineage os 20 as well for supported devices next up you have buttons so if you're using three button layout you can invert the layout you have customization for edge long swipe action as well what do you want to do and how do you know that the long swipe is kicking in you will notice the arrow button will have two arrows instead of one when the long swipe kicks in and here it is i have set it to access my recents then you can customize your power menu and you can enable your advanced to restart from here as well then you can use the power button to end the call long press for torch once you enable it you can configure for how many minutes you want the torch to be enabled then you have volume button customization things like wake the device answer the call control playback by long pressing keyboard cursor control do you want to swap the volume buttons when the screen is rotated in case you want the volume panel on the left you can do that as well by enabling or disabling the toggle over here and something strange which i noticed is click to partial screenshot now you can of course get a partial screenshot by pressing and holding the screenshot menu but do note with android 13 they have added the screenshot editor so you do not get the mode wherein it would get grayed out you can take a partial screenshot from the screenshot editor which they have added with android 13 and it is of course present in your lineage os 20 as well then you have system profiles so what is system profiles this i think is an exclusive feature for lineage os so herein you have something called triggers so let us say you trigger your wi-fi from one network to the other or your bluetooth then what is the action which you want to take so all those things you can configure over here like changing the ringtone putting the phone into silent mode and if this seems similar to 
the rules feature which we have in android it is a bit similar but a bit more advanced as well then we have status bar customization so quick pull down i've set it to right if i pull down from the right it is going to be expanded if i pull down from the left it is not going to be expanded here it is from the right expanded from the left it is not expanded then you can configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar then change the clock position enable seconds do you want to auto hide the clock on your home screen am pm style customization for your battery status style along with your battery percentage then you can also configure the brightness by sliding across the status bar do you want auto brightness toggle in your quick settings brightness control in your quick settings all those things you can customize from here then we have gestures so in gestures you have your quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice system navigation three different options and for your two button and three button the only customization which is available is hold home for assistant for your gestures you can enable or disable the gesture bar at the bottom do you want to swipe to invoke the assistant and you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge one-handed mode is present and it works without any issues now in case you want a shortcut you can do that by enabling the toggle over here and then you can use this button which is a floating button to enable or disable your one-handed mode then for your power button you can customize whether you want power menu or digital assistant when you press and hold the power button and you can also customize your prevent ringing which is your power and volume up together to vibrate or mute the device and last but not the least do note that lineage os 20 does come with your backup application and you have seed vault by default which you can use to backup and restore your device and it also has an inbuilt updater now do note for this inbuilt updater to work you will need to have lineage os stock recovery installed on your android device and there it is peeps those were the new features our first look at the features of lineage os 20 based on android 13.